Hello and welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today, or well, this is going to be part one of a two-part video, and I'm going to be making or showing you some different ideas uh, using, well, number one, I'll explain what this background piece is in a moment, but I'm going to be using the Stamperia Welcome Home range to decorate some projects. So part two is going to be of using the beautiful Stamperia products to decorate the products. In part one, we're going to create a master board. So I'm calling this the Welcome Home Master Board. And this is one that I've already done and I'm going to take you through the process of how to do this. Now this piece here, good mess on the back, isn't it? This is a piece of Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock. It's a range of product, comes in cream, comes in craft and also in black. And by the time this video goes up, I'm really hoping the cream one is back in stock. I, I have a feeling it might have arrived at the store today. So it should be in, st in stock again very, very soon. And you get 10 sheets in the pack. It's a good heavyweight cardstock and it holds up extremely well uh, to your mixed media products. Now the paints we're going to use, Stamperia, help us out big time. When they release a... A collection they also release a, a selection of paints which go with the collection so this is the set of paints which goes with the welcome home create happiness collection which was released not that long ago early this year so you've got ivory cappuccino powder blue cyclamen pink and light green beautiful colors so they take the guesswork away. You know straight away that these gorgeous colours are going to match with the paper range. So I'm just going to pop those to the side for the moment. So I have used in this piece, this masterboard. A masterboard is a creation on a piece of cardstock or, or something which you then use this to create other projects and this is just one example of a masterboard there's so many different ways you can create masterboards and it's so much fun to do i love doing that just trying different ways and seeing what you come up with so i've used three colors on here i've used powder blue i've used the light green and then the pink now the one we're going to what i'm going to do today um, on the camera so I'll just put this to the side for the moment I'm just going to set up bring out a another craft mat there it gets a little bit messy this process and that's why I thought it might be easier to do the video in two parts masterboard first and then using the masterboard in the second video now this piece of heavy stock again started with the cream to prepare it I have painted it sealed it with white gesso and then completely dried it and then I thought I'll do something different. This one here, I put the blue straight onto the cream background, or the white, the white gesso background, which is how we've got the cream in the background, which works in really well with the collection. As I said, one of the colours is ivory in the collection there for, for the Welcome Home. But this time I thought I'm going to start with a base of the purple, and this is another colour, which is in the collection, Cyclamen absolutely love these Stamperia paints they are beautiful they come in the most incredible range of colors and they are a dream to work with so I've gone ahead and I so I've white gessoed dried it and then I've painted this with the Cyclamen acrylic paint and completely dried it so we know when acrylic paint is dry it is permanent so now we're going to start to create the magic so how we make all of these colors mix in together you can see every single color so i'm going to take you through the process of doing it the magic ingredient to this process is your isopropyl alcohol and we sell the couture creations at a brand at the shop at paper flourish and comes in a one liter uh, container so this is we sell this in store um, but this product is readily available um, as well at shops so that is the magic ingredient now I'm going to start so I've already got the purple the next color I'm going to do is the powder blue what I've done is mixed the powder blue with water now you mix it to about the consistency of melted butter 
So you want to add that water. And the aim is to get this paint, doesn't have to be tidy, get it onto the heavy stock as soon as you can. And it needs to be wet as we add the um, isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to apply that. I've got it ready here in a cup. These are just plastic cups from the supermarket. I find that's the easiest thing to use with this process. And I've got a Lavinia fan brush all set to go. So that's ready. So I'm just going to mix this around, get the paint swirling in the water. And I'm just going to pretty much slap this paint on. I find it's easiest to work on some paper towels and that way if you've got some excess paint put a little bit much off you can just rub it straight off onto the paper towels so speed is important here because you don't want that paint to dry too quickly now i've got a little few puddles there so i'm just going to sweep it off a bit onto the paper towels you do get in a bit of a mess but i mean it's all part of the fun isn't it so there's the blue here comes the magic so here's the isopropyl and you're going to I'm going to flick this and you can do this as much as you want and what's happening is the blue is separating and you can see there the purple showing through this now needs to be dried completely now that takes a little while takes a fair bit of patience so heat tool dry away I am going to edit this part out but believe me this takes a fair while Try not to dab it with a paper towel as you dry. Just let it dry as it is. I've completely dried this 100%. I hold it up a bit closer and you can see there the blue separated, still showing the purple through, but now we've got the two colours on the background. The next colour, and I'm going to repeat the same process. Light green this time. I've got it mixed here with the water. Bit a good stir around get the paint on as quick as possible it's a great color the light green love it just want to act quickly so that it doesn't dry so you need to, the paint to be enough that you get you can get the color but wet enough that it's easy to move see there it stays wet I'm just going to brush some of that excess off okay all right let's go in with the isopropyl alcohol flick 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 I love this bit it's the best bit isn't it just watch that magic happen said so you can do this as much as you want when you're happy with all the separation you stop and again 100% dry so heat tool off you go again be patient it takes I said probably took me about five minutes to dry that blue layer and it'll probably do the same again so I won't make you sit through it I'll edit this out now this is starting to look interesting isn't it three colors happening here purple the blue and now the green again that has been 100% dried one more colour I'm going to add, and that is the pink. Pretty pink. So again, I've got it mixed up here with the water. Mix it round. And same thing, I'm just going to slap that colour on. In the art journal class at, in store at Paper Flourish this week, we used this technique and we did some, um, we did some stamping and embossing on the finished masterboard and used the pieces to add some beautiful um, details and embellishments to a, our journal page and in video two I will actually show you that journal page so again just different ideas on what you can do with these lovely creations here we go magic time now if you're like me and if you love mixed media you've probably got a lot of acrylic paint I've got, I think I'd be embarrassed to show you my collection of, of acrylic paints. So this is a really great way to use them. And try different colours. Metallics look really cool. You can use those as well. We did that in the journal page this week. I did use the metallics. And so I said I'll show you that in the next video. There's the pink. It's separated. And I'm going to dry this completely with my heat tool. 
and here is the finished masterboard as you can see there I'll hold it up you can see all four colors so you've got the purple still showing through the blue the green and then the pink on top I said so many things that we can do with a masterboard and said that will be video too um, but I just wanted to show you the process of how to produce something like this now there's a lot of different ways to create masterboards so if if you enjoy this type of video and you'd like to see more ideas on making a masterboard please leave me a comment on the video and I'm happy to do more videos like this and as I said there's so many different things we can do with this now I'm just going to get that welcome home collectibles back because i will be using these to decorate some projects in video two but can you see already these beautiful fussy cut images in here they match in so well with the colors you can use the paints that go with the collection look at there this works in really well so this was the first one i created and this didn't have the purple background this one has the purple background I'm not sure which let me know which one you like the best I really love the purple background but I'm going to do a play with both make up some projects and then in video two I'll show you how to make some of those projects have a wonderful day everyone thank you so much for watching get out those acrylic paints and play and I'll be back soon with video two thank you bye